guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we have another huge PO Box opening video, like there's so many here um, that this is going to be a long video, so go grab a cup of tea. I'm only going to do the highlights of these, I'm not going to go through every single one in detail. Just before we get started, I want to update you on the last community project that I posted about a week ago. So both notebooks have been sent off, so if you didn't receive an email from me, it means you're not participating in this round, but I kept everyone's emails, so um, I might do another round later and I'll be emailing the people who didn't get um, chosen for this round, I'll be emailing you and you'll be chosen for the next round. So um, now that the travel notebooks are on their way around the world, um, I'm going to start another project and it's a writing project and um, it gives you an opportunity to write a story about your life. This can be anything from a life lesson to something motivating. It is International Women's Day so it would be amazing for an empowering women's story um, or just a story that you find dear to your heart. So um, all details will be in the description box below. Entries will close on Monday. so. Um, you don't have to write the story by Monday, you just need to let me know that you are participating so that I can write a list of all the people who are participating and tick them off as they send their stories through. So yeah, so let me know by Monday if you want to participate and don't worry if you don't think you're a good story writer, I will, I will send through prompts if you need help. Um, but yeah, I believe that everyone has a story so... Um, I thought this would be a great opportunity for you at least to sit down and try to write something that can be um, a, maybe amazing or really inspiring to others. So you may not think it is, but I'm sure whatever comes from the heart will be amazing. And even if it is a fictional story that you can kind of put a little bit of yourself into, that would also be fine. So yeah, um, there will be a winner. So the person who has the best story will receive a little package from me. So yeah. On that note, all links will be in the description box below, go check it out, um, and let's get on with the video. I'm going to start off with the biggest one, because, um, oh I need to get scissors. Oh, 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 ah. um, I just want to bring your attention to um, the washi table on the bottom, it's so flippin' adorable. So we've got um, Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, um, we've got little characters out of all the Disney. They're like little plush kind of faces. And then we've got um, Frozen. So I thought that's super cute. Um, this package is from J-U-S and then Tina. So just Tina. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. But it is from the United States. Ohio. Alright. So the first thing we have is this adorable little um, envelope. And it says T on it. And it's like the most prettiest paper, and we've got a whole bunch of tea inside. Oh, how cool is that? It's like a little lizard. There's so much in here, thank you. So we've got this little cacti flip book. Oh, look at this little guy. He's like shaving his face because he's a cacti. <laughs> I get that. So next we've got one from Joyce Wright from the United States. You are actually participating in the Global Traveling Notebook. I remember because I wrote out your address so many times. Once again, lots of cacti stuff in this round. Um, these are so cute. They've all got little faces and there's like lots of grumpy faces. Oh, I nearly dropped it. Uh, we got a beautiful postcard from Route 66. That's really cool. Um, from Arizona. This is so awesome. Another one from Arizona. The little um, moon's cut out. What's this one? This one's from Las Vegas. That's pretty cool. Another one from Las Vegas. And then a cute little stickers. I love that you've given me so many postcards around America. Like this is so cool. So the next one is from Susan and it's from the Netherlands. And funny story. Not really a funny story at all but, but my middle name's Susan. Brittany Suzanne McCallan. If you wanted to know. <laughs> oh, how beautiful is this? This is really beautifully done. So we've got like little collages on this side, little goodies in there, and then I'm guessing this is going to be the letter in the center. Really nice, simple, folded, 
flip book. This is from Chile and I'm not gonna pronounce your name. Comstam... No, I'm, I'm not gonna try, but thank you for this letter. So this is like a really nice flat package idea. The washi tape's thin, the little cutouts are thin, the mail tag's thin, and it's all written on top of the letter. So, such a good idea. This is so creative. Thank you so much. Oh, that's it. Um, next one is actually, this caught my eye when I was going through the mail just because it was so beautiful, this drawing on top here. Um, and it's just really lovely design. So this is from Rachel from Canada. And then I think we got a flip book. So feel free to roam. Everything's awesome. <gasps> How pretty is this? Oh my god, I'm in love. This is so beautifully designed. I love your colour palette. Oh, thank you. This is so sweet of you. So this one is from Carissa. I think that's how you pronounce your name. I'm not actually sure. But you're actually from Adelaide, from Australia. This is such a cute little package. Oh, okay. She said she tried to email me, but it didn't go through. So this is such a lovely flip book. You guys are getting really creative with your flip book. So it flips across twice, up once, and then inside is the litter. So we've got the word magic with Little Mermaid. Hello from Adelaide, old stamps. That is such a really cute idea, thank you. So the next package is from Izzy from England and it's this cute little pink package. <gasps> is this sweet, like actual lollies? It says sweets on the front. Yes, it is. <gasps> How cute are these? I'm gonna have to try one. Mmm. I shouldn't have ate that. It's gonna take a long time to chew now. <laughs> I finally finished chewing that. I love that you've put in like little sweets and things that represent your country. Like that's that's really cute. Thank you so much. So this is an Alice in Wonderland postcard. I loved it when I received this. And if you don't want to write me a package or a letter or anything and you just want to send me something cute, like I really do appreciate just simple postcards. Next I'll do this cute little one because it has all these adorable like sunshine gardening stickers all over it. This is from Kimberly from um, the United States. Oh, this is so adorable. Look at these little fairies. The whole thing is like a, like a fairy flower garden theme. This is so nice. Every flower is a soul blossoming in nature. Oh, this is so cute. Some favorites. Chocolate, Studio Ghibli, Japanese mascots, Harry Potter, alpacas, thunderstorms, and otters. These are a lot of my favourites as well, so I know why you've been watching my videos, because I do like a lot of the same things. We've got another postcard, and again, this was really sweet. I really love this print on the front. This is from Hawa. Oh, I hate pronouncing names wrong, and I know I'm probably always doing it, but basically she said, I'm 23 years old, I live in London, I'm a big fan, I love your channel, and I hope you're the best, and don't stop doing what you're doing. I won't. Thank you so much for the postcard. I've got this little teeny tiny one, and I feel like I know this writing, but the sticker's covered who's it from. Danielle, yeah, I knew I knew this writing. I've sent you so many letters. I feel like I've sent you so many letters, but maybe I just feel like I've got so many letters from you. We're down to just these ones, and I can hold them all in one hand. So they're very thin. So I'm guessing this one's just a letter, and it's got this adorable little, um, what do you call that, seal? And it's a pineapple! Yeah, it's just a really simple letter. So, very nice. Thank you so much. I'll read this one straight after. Gabrielle from the United States. I am looking forward to reading your letter. So this is from Sabrina from the United States again. From Texas. Oh, and it's a little, little um, snail out of Spongebob. Meow. Oh, I hope it's from Spongebob. I don't know. We've got um, a little Smiggle envelope. And this one is from Stella from New Zealand. Not too far from me. I don't know if other countries have Smiggle. Is Smiggle a global thing? Let me know. So this is from E. <laughs> There's no first name! This is so lovely. Such a cute little flip book. You guys are outdoing yourself with your little flip books today. This actually looks like the Hogwarts crests. It's from the Ukraine. From 
I don't know what that name is. It's in writing writing that I can't read. It's a little badge! And I think it's a little clown! That's very cute! All these little homemade things and cutouts of tea. Thank you so much. That's so cute and lovely. Alright. Down to the last two! Okay. This is from Mary from Wales. The United Kingdom. I don't know why I said it like that. I think because I get crazy when I'm doing my letter opening. As you guys know, because I tell you many times that when I'm sitting here talking to the camera, um, I go a bit crazy. <laughs> um, she's done a little seal on the front that says, okay, that definitely didn't go as planned. And I know that feeling. Like when you're doing a seal, it can be so unexpected how it's going to turn out. And I have screwed it up so many times. Um, it's another little flip book. The letters in there. And it's the most beautiful paper. And this is the mail tag. We've got little pictures, the little address, the most adorable little cacti stickers. And then what's in here? Some little cards and things. This is so cute and lovely and so small and delicate. Thank you so much. This is such like a lovely little small compact um, flip book. It's so teeny tiny. <laughs> Thank you, Mary. And lastly, we have Lisa from the United States. And then it says, on this one, it says, open me after reading the letter. And it kind of looks like something you would get from, like, the Chinese New Year. So I'll have to read the letter first and then open this up. I think it's like, it looks kind of like a little lucky charm. That is all the letters for today. Look how many I've opened. It's been a long video. I think I've been filming for, like, an hour now. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video today. Um, and don't forget to email me if you want to submit a story for the competition and I will choose a winner and send a package too. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next week. Bye!